My next guest is very busy. Uh, Nicola Walker is currently filming series four of Unforgotten, as well as that. We'll see her in The Last Tango in Halifax later this month. And next week, she's back in the split. This, honestly, of I guess of all the things that you've done, in many ways, this has really caught the public's imagination, hasn't yeah. it? I mean, people are always coming up to you saying what you should do and what your character should do. They are. <laughs> and um, one woman saying, screaming across the central line, I wish you'd have been my divorce lawyer. Uh -huh. Laughing, laughing her head off. <laughs> But I'm thinking maybe I could have got her a better financial deal by the end of it. She is. She has got balls, this woman. She really, she has. really is. You don't want to mess with her. Yeah. And I guess that that is reflected in what she wears. Yes. You know, I guess that's sort of part of, of who she is. It is, yeah. yeah. It's part of their armour. And we did quite a bit of research before we started and went to speak to some amazing women that actually, you know, do this job in real life. And that that is that that is the way you're expected to look. Um, it's just part, it's just part of it. Yes, yeah, the, the suits, the power suits, the, the high heels, all of that, all of that. Yeah, very powerful. So you would have had to be taken out to do all of this. Yes. You know, to get all these clothes. Yes. I know for a lot of women that would be an amazing thing to do. I, I, I would, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at shopping. Actually, I didn't, I didn't have to go out shopping. I was taken to the, the super wardrobe room that oh. Sister Pictures created um, where, the first time round, where um, there were rails and rails of these clothes. Right. And I, I felt so intimidated totally. and rows of beautiful shoes. Mm. And I, I felt like, for the first time round, I felt like I was failing the designer because he would show me these amazing shoes and... I, I would just think they're going to hurt. They're just yes, going to hurt all day. Yes, especially if you're on your feet all day filming. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. But um, now, I mean, second time round, actually, I went, uh, our designer this year, lovely Ellie, took me into a room. She did it all in, in mm -hmm. one day. And I, I, it was a delight second time round. Good. To be so honest. you're getting better well, at you get it. used to it, <laughs> I mean. You're yeah. getting better. But what a lovely, a lovely way to do it, actually. Yeah. Sort of yeah, you don't have to shop. On you go. No, there's, there's a designer that just goes, this is what you're wearing. It's Bless, fabulous. joy, happiness. Yeah. Bless, joy, happiness. So you've got that. The, obviously, we're going to be seeing the, the split. And I think, mm. it, I think it's sort of, especially, it seems very much of its time. You know, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's and, and I love the fact that the characters, you know, most of the, the, the real characters that we're rooting for are all women. Yes. Aren't they? Yes, they are. Which is good. You don't get that very often. No, you don't. And you also, I think what Abby Morgan's really brilliant at doing is wondering why we still launch ourselves with great hope into the commitment of marriage yeah. when the statistics are really against us. And she's really trying to work out how people do, how we all survive a long-term relationship, mm. if not marriage. Sure. And how you, you know, how you mutate both yeah, of you Yeah, and you have to change it. and compromise and, and all of these things. And the fact that it's written by a woman, that's how things change, isn't it? If you get more women writing and yeah. more women producing, directing, all of that, yes. that's how the landscape changes. We can, we can shout about it as often as we want. Yeah. But that's the only No, it has to change. The hierarchy has to change high totally, up. Totally. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, I think we're going in the right direction, right. definitely. I've been employed for the last seven years by brilliant women um, in positions of power. Sure. So, so it's working? We, yeah, we're going in the right direction, <laughs> aren't we? And we're all yeah. talking about it, which yeah. is the most important thing. It's, no, that's you know, true. They were talking about that about the, at the BAFTAs. You know, they were talking about sort of, you know, lack of... It's just not as inclusive as it could be. Yeah. Um, personally, I think that's absolutely right, but I think it's a lot of it in Britain is down to class as well. Yeah. You know, people don't really talk about that. They no, talk we about still don't racism talk about and they talk about, you know, things like, <laughs> you know, being against women and all of that, but they don't really talk about class, and that's, that's really important as well. Absolutely. But we should... We're getting there. We are getting there. And you're doing your bit, that's for sure. <laughs> Goodness me, I don't know how... There's so many things coming out. It's got the split next yeah. week and then Last Tangle. Yes, we're which back. Which is a delight. That back is in Halifax. Such a good show. Yeah. Again, beautifully written. Yes. Yeah, Sally Wainwright. I mean, that is the key. The key for me are the, the writers. And yeah. Abby Morgan and Sally Wainwright, both brilliant, brilliant writers. Well, you can't do your job properly if you haven't got the lines. No, and what you end up doing when you get... Um, so when you get a script, like an Abby Morgan script or a Sally Wainwright script, they, it, it all comes off the page. You can see it straight yeah. away. You can see and you can hear people show. saying it as well. It's like the way people speak. Yeah. And you, mainly you get a room full of actors at the read-through day thinking, please don't mess this up, because it, this works right. beautifully on, sure. on the page and you don't want to get in the way of it, basically, <laughs> when you're filming it. Just say the I words. Know what you mean. And you've got such a great cast, Derek Jacobi and Anne Reid. I mean, that is just a delight, isn't yes. it? The two of them are... They're really... And it just works so, so well, so believable. Yeah. That's the thing about that whole drama. Everybody is utterly believable and yeah. authentic. Yeah. And Anne, you, now you went to see Anne in Cabaret, didn't you, in New York? I did. I was working in, in New York a few years ago, and on my first day there, Annie was doing her cabaret show. And um, I ran over there with uh, another actress, and we sat and sobbed in oh, this... Oh, it's lovely. 
beautiful uh, New York downstairs bar with Annie singing The Party's Over. I was in pieces, oh, in absolute pieces. I saw her doing it here in London. Yeah. And again, it was quite a small, it's quite a small space. It needs to be really it's intimate. very intimate. Yeah. And she's just, she just held us all in the palm of her yeah. hand, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. To have that sort of talent is just incredible. Yeah. And Unforgotten's coming back too? I'm filming that at the moment. Right. Which is really frightening, Lorraine. How so? <laughs> because <laughs> when, when you finish jobs, you know, it's okay, you, you can manage to work out how you're going to talk about them to not give right, anything right, right, away. Right, right. But because we're actually doing... Um, well, you know, you've got to be careful. I, oh, I've got so many things that I want, <laughs> I want to say. People that I was interviewing yesterday, that I sort of want to... It's so good. No, it is really good. It's and really I love good. him, I love Sanji. Yeah. He's just great. Yeah. You're lucky, you've worked with lots of really, really, really good people. Yes, Yeah, definitely. you really do. Definitely. Have you just got this wonderful sort of ability to pick really good projects or has it been luck, do you think? I think it's a lot of luck and it's yeah. a lot of, um, uh, you know, people that you've met at the beginning of your career, um, a lot of those, mainly women, yeah. climbing their way up um, the ranks and being in positions of power to um, give you a hand up. <laughs> Well, that's how it works. That's yeah. how it works. I cannot believe you're going to be 50 this year. That's ridiculous. I am. Are you going to have the biggest party in the world? No, I really don't want to sound so <laughs> bad. Um, I'm not a bit... I can't think of the last time I had a birthday party. I would have been, you know, maybe 11. Right. We're not big... Um, do we tiny parties? Do lots yeah. of wee tiny gatherings? Yeah, I'm just going to make it last to everybody. all year. Yeah, really spread it out. Sure. That's what yeah. I did. It's much, much better. Thank you for coming in. We said, as we said, the split returns BBC One next Tuesday. It is at nine o'clock. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. And thank, thank you, you very much. Great <laughs> to see you. Thank you.